Okay, let me ask you a question. Can you remember ever feeling tricked by a movie trailer? You know what I'm talking about. You see the trailer on TV, you think it's going to be amazing, then you go to the theater, watch the movie, and it was just like, eh, that was it. I feel like I've been duped. The very first movie I ever remember feeling that way with was the very first Batman movie with Michael Keaton. Now, don't, don't kill me, because, I mean, I do like that movie. I do. I like it a lot. It's, I love all the Batman films. That one, especially with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson and Tim Burton directing. It's a great movie. But the thing is, when it first came out, there was tons of commercials for it. Like, all the time. Teasers, trailers. And then everywhere you went, everywhere you looked, there was Batman and Joker merchandise. Do you remember this? Like, it was in the clothing department. It was in the school section. It was in the toy section. There, it, just, it didn't matter what store you were in. There was Batman paraphernalia everywhere. And so they just created this false hype that this movie was going to be insane. And I remember thinking, I'm going to love this movie till the end of time. And so this is one of those rare movies where I actually went on opening day and went by myself. I have never gone to a movie by myself before that or after that. Just, I just don't do it. But for this one, I just was like so jazzed to go see this movie. And then after I watched it, I just remember feeling, that was it? That was all they gave me? And it wasn't that the movie was bad. It was just expected. You know, they didn't blow me away. I, it was an action movie. It was a superhero movie. And it was everything I expected it to be. A lot of movies are formulaic. You know, action movies are like all the other action movies. Horror movies are like all the other horror movies. Romantic comedies are like all the other romantic comedies. And so we hope, right, to be thrilled. We hope to be dazzled. We hope to be taken to another place through story or visual effects. But in the reality, we end up just seeing something that we've seen before, a story we've heard before, things we've seen before, and we have expectations, but a lot of things don't live up to our expectations. Church can be like that too, right? I mean, what do you expect to happen at church? You're going to come, you're going to sing some songs, there's going to be an offering, maybe you'll have communion, the pastor will get up to speak, uh, you'll probably sing a couple more songs, then you go home. And you expect that when you come to church, and that's what church gives you. And I would probably make the argument that a lot of life is like that. When you wake up in the morning, do you actually expect that today will be different than yesterday? I mean, don't you kind of wake up every single day thinking, huh, it's another day. Another day, and today will be like all the other days before it. I don't know that we wake up with an expectation that today could be better. Today could be brilliant. Today could be beautiful. Today could be marvelous. Today could be filled with wonder. Can you imagine if you woke up with a new anticipation every single day that today could be different from yesterday? Today could be filled with joy and hope. That today could be filled with miracles. That today could be filled with God. You know, I think we look back on our Bible heroes and we think, oh, those people were amazing. They walked with God, they talked with God, they did some incredible things. But the reality is those people were people. They're people just like you and me. They had the same hangups, they had the same issues, the same drama. And so maybe, just maybe, the reason why those people led the lives they did was because every day they expected more. They expected more from their life and they expected more from God. They walked with God close enough that every morning when they got up, they thought, man, today could be the best day of my life because I'm a child of God and I walk with God and He watches over me and there's nothing that God and I can't do. I wonder how different my life would change if I could wake up with divine expectations, if I could look at every single day with divine expectation. Because you know, when you look for things, you find things. This Sunday at Walden Church, we're going to talk about that. Living each day with a divine expectation and how that could totally change your life. I hope to see you there.